Hi, I'm John from Just Whiskey. If you like today's show, please click like and subscribe and consider becoming a Patreon. And remember, <clears throat> no matter how good it is or how much it costs, it's just whiskey, folks. And another quick shout out to John's Liquors in Falmouth, Massachusetts on Cape Cod. No relation to me. If you're looking for Easter eggs hidden amongst the shelves, that is a place to check out for sure. Wink, wink, Springbank, <clears throat> and the like. Before I get into this, I want to reflect back on a, a couple of the previous Springbanks that I've reviewed and talked about and pricing and becoming a Patreon. It won't be too long-winded, I hope. <laughs> In the previous video, I said when I get to 500 subscribers, I would crack open my 2016 Long Row 18, and when I get to 1,000 subscribers, then I will crack open my 2019 Springbank 21. But I'd also like to add, you know, we hear reviewers talk about Patreons, and I get it. What's in it for me? Um, there's so many of us whiskey tubers out there that I get it. Most people can't justify um, subscribing. Uh, donating to a Patreon for more than, uh, you know, a handful or so of, of, of channels. I, I, and I get that. So what's in it for me? So in regards to the Long Row 18 and the Springbank 21, 500 subscribers or 1,000 subscribers, which could take a while, um, I thought about what's in it for me with Patreons once I get 10 Patreon uh, donators, then what I will do is crack open the 2016 Long Row 18. And then when I reach more than that, I'll, I'll, I'll do the Springbank 21. Um, I'm not sure on the head count on that, you know, but this is kind of off the cuff. But... Once I get 10 subscribe, uh, 10 Patreon people, um, then I will be doing a monthly uh, raffle and I will give a, a sample of some really good stuff. You know, Spring Bank 18, Long Row 18, um, and many others that you've seen in the channel and many more to come um, and it'll be a nice little sample bottle like this a little uh, six centiliter uh, sample bottle okay so let's go on with the the review um, and we're going to talk about pricing here as well i previously reviewed the spring bank 10 i will put a link to that review in this video in the description um, if you want to check that out but we're going to be focusing on the Springbank 18 uh, of course from Campbelltown uh, non-chill filtered no coloring adding 46 percent ABV and this particular bottle is a 2020 release I have a 2019 Springbank 2018, which I have not opened, but let's talk about price a little bit. 
um, the 2019 bottle, which I bought about two years ago, and I bought it through the Netherlands. Um, but two years ago for the Springbank 18, I paid the equivalent of $127 US. At that same time, around two years ago, in the United States, uh, the Springbank 18 was going between 170 and 180 US, which which I thought was high. And I'll be honest with you, you know, going back just two to three years ago, I thought any any bottle, or most bottles, you know, over the over a hundred dollar range um, was was pricey. You know, um, it's it's a commitment. So so two years ago, I picked not this bottle, but the 2019, which I have not opened yet, for around 127 US. Now the 2020 release in the United States now, um, it's retailing for twice that, $250 and up, if you can find it. So it goes to, you know, the old thing, you know, is it worth it? And I've said in previous, and I can, will t continue to say, in my opinion, you're paying, when, when you get into these price ranges now, you're, you're paying for the experience. Is the, is the whiskey great? Yes. <laughs> um, is it going to be a great experience? Yes. But, you know, is it worth it? I don't know, folks. Um, the way prices are going, especially with Springbank and others, um, the prices are really, it's really hard to justify it at this point, in, in my opinion. And as a quick example, um, there's a whiskey site in the Netherlands that no longer ships to the United States. But I do go on there and I uh, check from time to time what their prices are and, and I'm on their email list. And it's it's crazy. The, the Springbank 21 the 2020 release is going for um, 700 euros, you know, I mean, so you're talking huge bucks. In the States, you can get Springbank 21s for around $500, maybe 525. So why um, that Netherlands site, which used to be a heavily discounted site, um, it just goes to show you that the demand for Springbank is uh, is unprecedented, and as long as we keep paying the price, they're going to keep going up. I guess. Um, anyway, that's a, a lot of talk. Um, okay, comparing the Springbank 18 2020 release to the Springbank 10 2019 release. Um, you know, price-wise, we already talked about uh, $250 if you can find it for the 18. The Springbank 10, you can find anywhere to 70, to anywhere from the 70 to 90 dollar range, I guess. You know, what was interesting is, um, you know, the colors. The 10 is much darker than the 18. You know, Springbank doesn't give a lot of information. Um, I have no idea what the maturation is on either one of these, but I would suspect that they're predominantly ex-bourbon casks, especially with this 18. Um, I can't imagine there being much sherry in there. Um, but anyway, what I found interesting when I first poured these two, on the nose, immediately once I poured them, they were very similar. But then quickly, the 10 loses that, the nose, the nose on this spring bank 18 is uh, candied fruits, vegetal, um, it's light, it's, it is lightly peated, there's no smoke on this at all, there's no smoke on either one, but there is a, uh, they are lightly peated, and you really don't pick much up on the peat. But on the 18, I definitely 
pick up on that the 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 phenolic medicinal notes it's subtle it's in the background it's a very soft inviting on the nose and the 10 initially has some of that but then it, it quickly dissipates and you're left with more vanilla and caramel on the palate the 18 This is a beautiful whiskey. Delightful on the palate. Medium to long. Um, satisfying finish. A little bit of um, mintiness, menthol. Again, you get the, the delicate candied fruits. Um, just a, 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 a delightful, a delightful um, dram. In my opinion, it, it does not compare to the to the ten. I mean, it it, it blows the ten out of the water. Um, that that's what I mean. Um, the ten. I'm not going to go too much into review. You can watch my previous review about Springbank 10, but much more sharp, powerful. There's, there's more, uh, a little more spice, a little more, a little more bite to it, a bit more robust. Um, the Springbank 10 really has not uh, does not have the nuances that the that the 18 has. Is it worth you know the the price you know you could in theory you could buy three Springbank 10s for the price of the 18, but you still are not going to get the experience of the Springbank 18. Um, it, it's it's overpriced. I mean, again, two years ago when I paid one hundred and twenty-seven dollars, I thought that was um, you know a lot of money. But comparatively, two years ago in the states, this was going for around one seventy, one eighty. So just in the last couple of years, it's it's gone up considerably. Um, I rated the Springbank 10 um, between a, I think between an 85 and an 87 in my previous review. The Springbank 18, I'm going to go between an 89 and a 91. Um, in my opinion, it is uh, superior. Um, to the 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 the, the, the springbank 10 um, it's a delightful dram and you can see i've made some some headway over the last few weeks um, i've noticed right out of the gate from the neck pour down to here um, it didn't need a lot of time to oxidize in the bottle straight out of the gate once you let it air out oxidize in the glass a little bit um, it opens up wonderfully and I would recommend it I'm really enjoying it and I haven't cracked open a Springbank 21 yet but when I do you know now you're talking you know the Springbank 10 70 or 80 dollars 90 dollars spring bank 15 130 to 150 dollar range the 18 250 and the 21 is 
retailing for five hundred dollars and up if you can find them so uh you almost have to take the the price out of the equation because you know are any whiskeys really uh worth that kind of money uh, you know um i i it's a it's 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 tough to swallow <laughs> if you're using your wallet. Um, having said all that, 89 to 91, I'm really enjoying the Springbank uh, 18 from 2020. Um, I do not regret buying it. Will I spend that much for another one? No. <laughs> well. Um, once again, thank you so much for uh, watching this, and thank you so much for all the new subscribers. Seriously, becoming a Patreon, because once I get 10 Patreons, once a month, I will uh, pick one, of, you know, randomly pick, pick one a month and, and send somebody a sample. Um, so uh, hats off to you all, and take care.